Hello and welcome to this video. We're going to install DOS 6.22 and Windows 3.11 on this machine. Okay, so if you were installing off floppies, this is where you would be, the same as um, where I am. I've just booted off a CD instead. So for this, we're going to press enter. We're going to change these settings to United Kingdom. These are correct. We're going to go C DOS. Yep. Um, and off it goes. This is actually a real-time install here off the CD drive. However, when we put Windows on and the other piece of software, we will do that using a flash floppy. And there we go. I'm going to remove the CD drive, CD from the disk drive, and then I'm going to press the Enter key and we will reboot. With a little bit of luck now it should boot from the hard drive. And there we go. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to my A drive and I'm going to choose install. This is obviously the mouse driver. Yes. There we go. So that's put a mouse driver on for us. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go for a CD ROM driver. Okay, so this is the CD ROM. And we're going to go install. Okay, so before we go any further, we're going to throw the system a reboot. With any joy, it should boot to give us a CD-ROM driver and a mouse driver. Next thing we're going to do then is we're going to put some sound drivers on it. This has got a Yamaha OPL3 in it. Oh, it's trying to boot off the uh, A drive. There we go. I'll take the disc out. The BIOS is set to boot from A. So there we go, so the CD-ROM driver is F and the mouse driver is installed. That's brilliant. Well, I've just had a look at the drivers for the sound card and the drivers are Windows 3.1 drivers. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to install Windows 3.1 on the machine. Press the enter key. Let's do a custom setup. We're going to go C Windows. Keyboard layout is British. That matches my computer. So off we go and we will go through the install of this. This is running off a flash floppy, so it's relatively quick. In 1990, Windows version 3 was released, offering better icons, performance, and advanced graphics with 16 color designs for the Intel 386 processor. This was the first release that provided a standard look and feel of Microsoft Windows for many years to come. Windows 3 including Program Manager, File Manager, Print Manager, Games, such as Hearts, Minesweeper, Solitaire. Microsoft released an update to this called Windows 3.1 in 1992. Please insert disk number two. There we go, disk number two.
Okay, now we'll do disc number three. We don't want to do printers or stuff that's already on the drive. We're going to put everything on. And we're going to set some virtual memory up. Off we go. Okay, we want disc number four. And off we go. I didn't give the drive long enough to initialize. Okay, so we're going to allow Windows to make all modifications for us. There we go. And uh, we're going to exit setup. Windows is not going to... Uh, skip tutorial. And we will reboot. There we go, so let's go into Windows, let's just type in WIN. I put the floppy disk, I put the CD in the CD drive, and on this is the drivers for the sound. Okay, so this is going to actually make me a floppy disk.
put a disc in I wanted to destroy so off we go okay so we're going to unzip to see okay five files unzipped I assume we've got to go to A drive to install this once it's created it. Okay, so we're going to go into the control panel, choose the driver's icon. Right, so we'll do that then. We will go, we'll close this. We'll go to the control panel. We will go drivers, add, unlisted, A drive. needs to be drive letter A. Okay. It appears to be doing something, it's thinking about something. And it's accessing the floppy drive. Okay, we're just going to press, I think, probably OK with that. And we will, we will restart now. Let's see what that does. Hopefully that will do DOS as well. Okay, that's just started Windows. So I'm going to quit Windows. Okay, so we've installed those drivers. Let us see if we have sound. I'm just going to take this radio mic off. There we go then, that's Windows 3.11 and we've got sound on it. We'll just try this from DOS. Wow. So we've got sound.
Okay, so perhaps what we need to do then is we need to actually try a game with it now that we've got this installed. I reckon. A bit of this. I'm gonna have a look on D drive and Let's stick to it near, come on. Once this is installed, it will do a quick sound test, etc. So be interesting to see whether it works. Piece of cake. Dead. This idiot bastard's gonna pay for shooting up my ride. There we go then. So that shows that that actually works. And I think there's only one more game that we could really test on here. Um, well, that well, it's testing in a DOS operating system. As you can see now, we do. We get. But there we go. Other than the mouse not working in DOS, that is um, its setup. <laughs>